waves intensely. I am back with another vlog of my life. I have no idea what this video is going to entail, but that's every video to be honest. Before we get into anything, I want to say thank you so much for the support on last video. If you guys didn't know, I basically started a little project and I documented it from the start to the finish and it was these Halloween trolls and they sold out in a few days. I've actually got some trolls left over which I've been painting this morning. We've got another skeleton going and we've got another Frankenstein going, but I don't have the little... Uh, um, nuts that go into his neck. So I'm gonna have to go to BMQ today to get some of those. But no, that might be it for the trolls after that because I've got a new idea in my head. I'm sorry, it's taken over. I don't wanna spoil it. You might see it later on in this video if they arrive, but we are taking it to the next step from trolls. But enough talk about the art because you're probably sick of hearing about it. We are here for a vlog. You can probably hear my feet. And you're probably thinking those feet sound different to usual. You're definitely not thinking that. I finally got some croc charms. I got a Groot, I got some Vans, and I got a hot dog. Three for one pound at the car boot sale that I went to yesterday. I also got a table from the car boot yesterday for three pounds. And I don't know why, I was strangely attracted to the design, like the paint design on it. And I was like, I want it. I don't have the use for this table yet, but it was cute. And if I get bored of this paint design, I can paint it myself. And the two other things that I got for myself, obviously I got lots of stuff for my nephews and I got a few stuff for my brother. But a little screen plushie. Thought that looked cute on my shelf. And then we got this for 10p. Lord of the Rings on VHS. I don't have a VHS player, but I thought it was so cool that I had to get it. And it was 10 P. And speaking of purchases, I went to TK Maxx. Yes, I went to TK Maxx without you guys. I couldn't contain myself. I went to HomeSense to look at the Halloween stuff. I know it feels like your partner has just cheated on you. I hope we can get through this. I've changed, I'm better now. What did I get from TK Maxx? Well, got this big pillow. You're probably thinking, Sophie, you don't need any more pillows. But I thought, now this is what I thought in my head. That didn't really make sense. I don't know where else I would think. I thought I'll get rid of all my other pillows and just have one big pillow. So when I get into bed at night, I can just sit like this when I'm watching something on the TV over there. And then when I'm done watching TV, I just chuck one pillow off because a lot of the time I am chucking about 12 pillows off. I'm like, <sighs> My boyfriend gets into my bed and it's literally like he's climbing through the Amazon rainforest of pillows. It's overgrown with pillows. So I thought I'd just get one pillow. Have I yet to chuck out the other pillows? No. Obviously, I'll never get rid of this one. It was meant to be the one in 20 out rule, but I didn't stick to it. But this is my one big pillow and it's really good. It's a Ouija board, but it's like thick. I also got these coasters and now I have a lot of coasters but they're all like the cardboard one and like they're really light and they fall off my desk. When I pick up a drink it's like attached to it. So I was like I'm gonna get some proper coasters. These ones... I don't know what material this is, like concrete, it's not concrete, but you know what I mean. It was four for eight pounds, I was like, that's two pounds each, that's pretty good. So I got one here, um, one over there, all of the same design, and two in my office downstairs. And the final thing I got was this Stranger Things light. Uh, it was two pounds and I just had to get it because it was only two pounds, and it lights up. There was a lot of Halloween decorations there that I wanted to get, but I know it's still early, so I don't want to go splashing all my money already. And my agreement in my head was, I'm only going to buy things that actually have a use with them. The coasters have a use, the pillow has a use. I wasn't gonna go get some stuff that goes and sits on my shelf. Whether that rule stays is another story. Also, I bought this from the charity shop the other day. It's a gradient puzzle. And in my head, I thought, that's easy. Cause it's just color matching. Turns out it's very, very hard. So I got this far in it and I was doing it especially for a stream. And yeah, I have technically given up, but sometimes I come over here and put two or three pieces into the puzzle. My stream was laughing at me whilst I was struggling at that. Anyway, I've been rambling for ages now. I'm still in my pajamas, I need to get changed. And then I'm gonna go to B&Q. Change now, obviously there's always drawers open in this house. I'm changed now, I'm gonna get some cereal. This woman is selling a vending machine on Facebook Marketplace for free. It honestly sounds too good to be true, but maybe she's like, I just need to get it out the way. And she's got really good reviews and stuff, but I've asked her, is it still available? I really want this vending machine. Imagine just walking into my office and it's like, beep, 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 and the little coat comes down. I've got it in my head now and I'm gonna be well disappointed. Everyone's told me it's way too big, way too heavy. It's a stupid idea. And that's exactly what I wanna hear and that's exactly what encourages me more to want it. Now I just wanna get a vending machine of any type but all of them cost like a grand if i was a millionaire there would be signs i would have a big house and i have loads of vending machines and like commercial things things that should be in a business but they're in a home does that make any sense does anyone else have like this interest 
Never in all my life have I been this sad to be ghosted by somebody. Relationships, fine. Vending machines, not fine. I forgot to tell you guys, I went and saw uh, Deadpool Wolverine and honestly it was one of the best movies I've seen in a long, long time. It was actually amazing. I left the cinema like... Oh. And obviously because I've been binging all the Marvels over the last few months for the first time ever. This was the first Marvel movie that I saw in cinema. So I finally got to feel that reaction with everyone in the crowd and everyone and just like, what? I saw a Marvel movie in cinema for the first time. Because I'm very late to the Marvel thing, okay, I know. But I still knew all the references and all the stuff that was going on and I was just like, oh my god. I feel bad because like lots of people were waiting years and years for this and stuff like that. So I did feel a little bit like a fake fan, but also I wasn't a fake fan because I was gasping as much as everyone else was gasping. And they actually gave us these little necklaces as we walked into the cinema. And I've got the Deadpool half and my boyfriend's got the Wolverine part, which is funny because throughout the whole movie we were saying that I'm literally Deadpool and he's Wolverine and the fact that they did these necklaces is just perfect but yeah if you ever want to know what my boyfriend's and my relationship is it's just Deadpool Wolverine and I know a lot of people after this movie are probably coming out and saying that saying I'm Deadpool I'm Wolverine but honestly if you knew you knew we were looking at each other and smiling and laughing because we just knew it was like oh god that's something I would do oh that's something you would say oh <laughs> but yeah absolutely amazing off to being cute it feels weird going to being cute without a project in mind but i kind of have got a project you know i've actually decided as i was driving past i've obviously had to go to b and m and there is a home base over there so i can go check if they have the little screws that i need i'm just like that home base has them i think i actually wanted these ones but they don't have any of them in a smaller one i was scared that someone was going to come up to me and go what do you want to use them for and i'll be like uh a troll went into b&m i couldn't go out empty-handed so i ended up getting a little pill tray i've had many of these in the past but i just seem to forget about them or lose them and if there's one thing you need to know about me, I love organisation. This is now going to be the third attempt in my lifetime using one of these. Successful little trip out, got the nails and got something else. She still hasn't replied about my vending machine. Getting really sick of this. It might not be. Currently sat in Kat's car. We're off to do a bit of shopping today. I'm so sad. I've come to this TK Maxx. Not a single Halloween thing, apart from some candles. They do have throws. I have no use for a throw though, so... I don't know what I'll do this, but I do like the skull and crossbones one. It is tempting, but I feel like it'll just get in the way. They've actually got more Halloween stuff for dogs than they have for humans. I really want this duck, but it's a dog toy. <laughs> Look at the bat duck as well. These are the type of hand towels I'll get in my future house. Green skeleton, perfect. Oh my god, this is perfect. I'm gonna buy this and I'll talk about it when I get home. Right now. So like I said, I was kind of disappointed in TK Maxx, but then I found this, which is a fitted sheet for my bed. I have a lot of Halloween themed duvets. This is just one of them. I've also got another one that has skulls on it. This one's got cobwebs on it. But what I don't have is a Halloween fitted sheet. I thought all sheets, the ones that you sleep on, are just plain. These are plain black. But I found a sheet that has the same pattern as the duvet i don't know if that's gonna be too many cobwebs not only am i gonna have cobwebs and spiders over the top of me i'm also gonna be sleeping on cobwebs and spiders this might have too much going on like having double spider but my skull sheet this would work really cool with because it'd be two different things <laughs> this is a lot for the eyes look at it is it my duvet is it a sheet it's a sheet now for the duvet on top oh my gosh i mean at least this sheet is gray so it's a little bit less but that's a lot for the eyes. And then we got this chest of drawers next to it. It's just a lot going on. Good thing is this duvet has two sides to it. So I can use this, which is a different pattern, still spiders. So it doesn't look too similar to obviously that side being a lot more. So yeah, there it is with my Ouija pillow as well. Obviously got straight into the loungies. Ignore that. You get home and you put your loungies on. I put the bolts in. I just need to paint his trousers now. Make sure you check the Etsy down below because those two might still be on sale when this video is up. If you missed out on the first trolls that i posted because they sold out pretty quick also a package came for me but i don't know if to show you guys but i also want to show you they are very protected in bubble wrap this is the next step up from trolls here we go we have i never thought at the age of 27 that i'll be buying barbies to be fair when i was younger i refused to buy a barbie because i was a tomboy and i was like no i can't have barbies it must be action man we have got one two three 
five Barbies. And yes, we're going to make these horror themed. It's just the opposite of what Barbie's all about. So that's why I think it will be good. So yeah, this is the next project right here on my hand. Let me know your thoughts down below. I don't know how long these ones are going to take to make, but they should be on my Etsy page soon. You wouldn't believe it if I told you. I'm off to TK Maxx third time this week. <laughs> what is wrong with me? I just need to know that I've seen every Halloween thing that is out there. It's leaving me restless at night. This is what I'm talking about. I've seen something I want straight away. What is this guy? Oh my god, I want him. I need him. Oh, I'm overwhelmed. I've seen something else. Oh my god. Hey mate, who are you? If I had a big enough place, these sort of things are what I would buy like that. <laughs> that would take up my whole office though. I love how I say that would take up my whole office. Yeah, I want to get a vending machine. That would be a really good makeup mirror. He's so cute. I don't need any more pillows though, do I? I'm meant to be getting rid of them. I've been distracted by these donuts, which are apparently wall decor. I'm so confused. Wall decor? I low-key might have to get one of these. I mean, that's something you'd have in like your kitchen, I guess. But all my rooms overlap. I really like this green mirror, but somehow this little small green mirror is just a circle. It's 50 pounds, reduced from 100 pounds. Would you work into a house and know that's 100 pounds? This is cool, little skull glass. I would love to get this glass for like cocktails and stuff like that. Ooh, this is cool as well. I can't buy any glasses or plates because this would be lush. And the mugs as well, I'm also banned from buying. Too many mugs, too many glasses. All right, I think I'm gonna go for the mirror because like I said, I want everything to have a use on it. And this guy, I'm so sad to leave behind, but he hasn't got a use. He'll just sit on my shelf. And I'm hoping that no one else will buy him. Goodbye, old mirror. You are now being replaced with a much fancier one. And yes, that is an egg in a basket. Are you judging me? It's surprisingly a very good quality of mirror. I thought it was just for like decoration. But this is gonna be really good for doing my eyeliner. And it looks good at the same time. And it has a use. Unlike all this stuff on my shelf. Look how cool this looks. I don't even need to make my bed anymore because it just looks cool to see this on show now. But yes, I have my first night on the spider webs. Very good sleep. I haven't really got any more plans for the rest of the week. I'm just streaming and working on the Barbie. So I'm gonna wrap up the video here because I feel like it's been a long one just with what I've done so far. If you guys enjoyed the vlog, give it a big thumbs up for me. So many more to come so many more random videos from me go in the comments down below and let me know what art i should do next i love you guys so much and i'll see you very very soon with another video bye <laughs>